Here we're differentiating constants. Now a constant is just a number on its own. So in this case we have two examples, 15 and minus 7. So any time you differentiate a constant, you just differentiate it to 0. So differentiate 15, it becomes 0. Differentiate minus 7, it also becomes 0. So any time you differentiate a constant, it just becomes 0. But it's a good thing to know why this occurs. So if we just look back at our general formula, x to the power of n, when it's differentiated, you multiply by the power n and reduce the power by 1. So we're going to apply that to our constant. Now the first thing we need to do is put our constant in terms of x. So y is equal to 15. You could also write that as 15 times 1. So 15 times 1 is 15. That's also equal to 15x to the power of 0. Because anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So x to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So we can say 15 is equal to 15 times x to the power of 0. So if we differentiate that, we're multiplying the, by the power. So it's 0, which is the power, by 15, by x to the power of, reduce the power by 1, it's x to the power of minus 1. So we have 0 by 15 times x to the minus 1. Whenever you multiply something by 0, the answer is 0. So therefore, when you differentiate 15, you get 0. And it's the same for every constant. When you differentiate a constant, the answer will be 0. Next, we look at differentiating some functions. So the first one here is y equals 3x squared minus 11x minus 5. So we're differentiating y with respect to x. So dy dx, the first part is 3x squared. So you multiply by the power 2. 2 by 3 will give us 6. The x squared, the power, reduces by 1. So it goes down to x to the power of 1, or just x. Minus 11x, as you've seen in the previous video. That'll just differentiate down to minus 11. We drop the x. And the minus 5, that's a constant. So that'll just differentiate to 0. So once we differentiate it, we get 6x minus 11. Here's our next example. So again, we're differentiating y with respect to x. So it's dy dx. Minus 12x cubed. Multiply by the power. So minus 12 multiplied by 3 will give us minus 36. x cubed. Differentiate. The power goes down by 1. So down to x squared. The next part is 3x squared. So multiply by the power. So 2 by 3 will give us 6 x squared, the power reduces by 1, so down to x to the power of 1, or just simply x. Minus 17, the constant, just differentiates to 0.